Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Are you ready to start your lesson today? Um, today the lesson is going to be second step and it's going to be all about being patient. Okay, and Sally and Bob are coming out today to talk to you about a problem that they have too. So get ready, put your hands together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask that you bless all we think, say, and do. Our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. Our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars his handiwork too. Woo! Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do for me, for you. And let's get ready to count. Are you ready? Here we go. Oops. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and say it. Very good. It is 26. I'm going to put it right here. And the 26 is a 2 and a 6. Very good. And now today is March 26. Now let's do the days of the week. Are we ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, so if yesterday was Wednesday, what day do you think is today? Here it is. Let me, let me hear you. Very good, it's Thursday. So let's put the monkey on Thursday. And Thursday begins with the letter T, but when you put a T and an H together, it sounds like this. So it's Thursday. That's why it doesn't sound like this. Right? Because these two letters are together. Okay, great. And now, let's go do some counting. Here we go. Oh, and my, I have my kitty rocking around. He might come out and say hi to you. Okay, so let's get ready. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, let's clap. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now let's get ready to see. Let's see if we have 100 already. Let's see if we can have our party today. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. We can't have our part. We can't have our party yet, but we're getting close each day. I'm so excited. Okay, and now let's do the weather. Let's do it. Here we go. We had it on cloudy yesterday. Let's go look outside. Go outside the window. Tell me, how is the weather today? Oh, it's very cloudy, and I see like a lot of dark clouds. Oh, well, it's still going to be an awesome day because we have lots of things to do today. So let's come on over and fix the chart. Here we go. So <clears throat> I'm going to just give it a spin just because I like spinning it around, but I'm going to put it right back to where it was yesterday, which is cloudy. So today the weather is, say it, Cloudy, very good. And now, um, oh, wait a minute, the letter of the week. Let's do it. And 
What is the sound that the letter R makes? Er, 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 er. And what is the sound that the letter R makes? Er, 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 er. And now we have to bring out Sally and Bob because Sally and Bob have been a little bit um, kind of like arguing about something and I'm not sure what it is. So here we go, let me get them out. Okay, let's get them out. <laughs> Sally and Bob, can you come out please? Hi everybody. Hi everyone. So Bob, I heard that you had a big problem. What was it? Well, it's just that Sally won't let me talk. Really? Well, let's bring her over and see why is she not letting you talk? Oh my goodness gracious. Sally? Yes? Why won't you let Bob talk? Well, I have something to say. But are you gonna be a nice friend and let him talk? Yes, I will. Okay, well, let's get started. Here we go. Okay, you sit next to Bob and, okay, ready, Bob? She says she's gonna let you talk. Okay, so I have, uh, yesterday I went to the store and I was going to buy a book. Oh, 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 I have something to say about that. I have something to say about that. See, Mrs. Castillo? Okay, Sally, you have to be patient. Well, yesterday I went to the store with my mama and I saw something really, uh, oh, 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 I have something to say too. I have Bob, I have something to say. Sally, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Well, okay. There, uh, yesterday I went to the store and I, my mama saw something that she was gonna buy me. And then mom said if I was a good boy, oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, you two, come on over here. We need to talk about something super important. And you know what the word is? What? It's about being patient. Being patient is, is waiting, is waiting for when something is right, for when the time is right. You have to wait. And when you wait, if you wait nicely and you are calm and you keep yourself busy, well, that one thing that has to happen is going to happen, then that is being patient. Really? Yes. So Bob was trying to explain his story today, but you are not letting him at all. Yeah, you were not being you were not being patient at all. You have to be patient. You need to be calm. Okay? So Bob, did you say what were you saying? I'll be patient. I'll be patient. I won't interrupt. I'll wait. I'll wait. Watch me. Watch me. My mommy bought me an ice cream cone yesterday and I'm so happy. And that was my story. Sally, you could have waited. I'm sorry, I'll be patient next time. Hmm. Okay, well, talking about patience, boys and girls, we are gonna be super patient with mommy and daddy and whoever is taking care of you today because some of, some of our mommies and some of our daddies are working from home. So if you wanna do an art project today, it's not gonna be whenever we want to. It's gonna be when mommy and daddy have time and they, they, they've done their work at home and then they can move away from their computer or their papers and they can say, okay, it's time to do a project. And you are gonna promise me that you're gonna be patient at home. You're gonna wait and you're gonna be nice about it. And what can we do while we're waiting? Like, let's say we wanna do a project. What can you do while you're waiting? Lots of fun things. One thing, you can count how many shoes are in mommy's closet. Or you can look around the room for something that is blue and you count how many blue things you find. 
or you can go get your books out or go get your Legos out and build some beautiful castle. And remember, no matter what you build or make, if mommy takes a picture of it and sends it to us, the teachers, your teachers are gonna see it and we're gonna be so happy and proud of you. So be patient, okay? Promise, give me a big thumbs up if you promise to be patient today. Yes, okay, all right, time to do a dance. We always have to do a dance at second step, right? So let's do a dance. But to do a dance, I'm gonna put my disco ball because we have to do the dance, right? Can you point your fingers and do the twist? Everybody's twisting, right? Can you point your fingers and do the twist? We're all doing the twist. Where are we gonna go up, then go down, get back up and turn around? Can you point your fingers and do the twist? What's next? Shake your hands. Oh boy, that's hard. Can you stand on the foot and shake your hands? Shaky, shaky. Now we're gonna go up, then go down, get back up and turn around. Can you stand on the foot and shake your hands? Watch this, Frank. Watch this. Can you point? Your fingers and do the twist. Pointy, pointy, pointy. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? I'm doing the twist really fast, Greg. Now we're gonna go up, then go down, then back up and turn around. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? fun today. Are you ready? Follow me. Okay, so today we are going to do some cooking for fun. Today, when you have your snack at home, you're going to help mommy or daddy or whoever is taking care of you with something special. So I have, we're going to make a fruit salad today. So I have a banana, and with a butter knife, with someone grown up around you, you are gonna do the cutting all by yourself because you're a big kid, you can help cut. So you're gonna cut the banana very gently with a lot of patience. When we do things with a lot of patience and being calm, beautiful and great things begin to happen, okay? Once you put cut these bananas, you're gonna put it in a bowl, and then maybe mommy can help you cut some, some little pieces of apple. Do you see how I'm cutting the apple in little tiny smaller pieces? You can do that all with a, just a butter knife. Oh, so easy. And then maybe, and then I want you to get your favorite yogurt, and maybe if mommy has, or daddy has blueberries in the refrigerator, you can take that out, and then you can even use your favorite cereal. Now, I have my favorite cereal, but if you have your own Fruit Loops or whatever cereal you like that you have at home, I don't know what your cereal is. Uh, it could be Cheerios or something. You can use that too. So you ready? Let's put the recipe together. Let's do some cooking with lots of patience. Let me put this banana on the side. Now you're gonna need a mixing bowl and a wooden spoon, and you're gonna put the bananas inside, and then you're gonna dump the apples inside. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. And you stir it up, because we have to do some cooking. Oh yes, we do. This is cooking stuff, yeah. All right, and then we're gonna take berries or whatever, if you like little oranges, whatever you have at home, you're just gonna put it in that bowl something healthy to eat, and then you're gonna stir it up because we're cooking, right? We have to look like professor, professional chefs, yes. And then you're gonna take your favorite yogurt. It has to be your most favorite one because when it get mixed up with this, it's gonna taste so yummy. 
Miss Castillo's favorite one is vanilla. Ooh, yum. And I'm gonna mix it up, mix it up. And look what the berries is even turning pink, my favorite color. Oh my goodness. And now after that, you are gonna put in a handful of your favorite cereal. Remember, it could be any cereal. It has to, everything here has to be your favorite. Your favorite fruit, your favorite cereal, your favorite yogurt, and then you're gonna sprinkle it around and you're gonna keep cooking that thing around. Stir it up. Okay, and then guess what? When you're done doing, mixing all that, oops, wrong bowl, you are gonna serve yourself like a big kid, just like that. Serve yourself. Look at that delicious meal that you just made. Oh my goodness. And you are done. Okay? Remember, I want you to be... I remember, I want you to be patient with mommy and daddy and whoever is around you today. We're gonna wait for the right time to do things. We're gonna wait to share the toy that you saw your brother or your sister playing with. We are gonna wait and be patient. When you wait and you are patient, great things will happen, okay? And plus, you make lots of smiles around you. That's amazing. Okay, a kiss from Mrs. White, Mrs. Frazy, and me. We love you and we miss you. Okay, bye. Mwah.